the Commissioner of Police, Alex Mensa, who is at the center of the alleged plot to remove IGP, Ekufo Dampari, has confirmed his voice in the leaked tape. According to him, he has met the prime witness in the case, Daniel Bukrinabu, four times to discuss several private conversations which he would not divulge publicly. He has, however, indicated to Parliament's committee probing the case that portions of the tape have been ducted. Samuel Mbura was in Parliament and filed this report. The embattled Commissioner of Police, Alex Mensah, did not mince words. In submission before the committee, he confirms dealing with Daniel Bugri Nabu but doubts the authenticity of the leaked tape. Because the audio which I've just listened is an edited one. There's a likelihood that somebody can fix my voice. But I can't confirm because I'm not, I don't have that technical to seem to confirm it. Is there any flow of conversation on this table that you, in true humility, will say that nobody is faking my voice? Or it is the entire tape that you want to say that somebody is trying to, I mean, fake your voice? The chairman, not the entire. COP Alex Bensa has also taken on his boss, the IGP Akufudan Pari, for mismanaging the Ghana Police Service. When I'm a chair, I will not deny that fact today, tomorrow, or the next day. I will make that statement again. That the current Inspector General of Police is not managing the police service well. It's something I will not run away from. I will say it everywhere, anywhere that I go. And you can do your own investigations, call police officers underground, and find out from them. Commissioner, calm down. Calm down. Can you assist this committee? You see, within the context of your statement, it has been revealed that majority of the police officers are currently disgruntled, which has the potential of affecting the political fortunes of the MPP, a reason he is unhappy about his administration. As we speak, majority of police officers are not happy. And if these same people are those who are going to police the elections, and remember, police officers, they vote. Their wives vote. Their children vote. Their mothers and fathers vote. That is my concern. Mr. Alex Mensah has therefore expressed willingness to open up on the road in the Ghana Police Service, but on condition of an in-camera hearing. Chairman of the committee investigating the leaked tape, Atachia, said they may consider doing so due to the sensitive nature of the information. Which is for public consumption. Some testimonies and pieces of evidence might have national security implications. And therefore, in-camera hearing is one of the ways to, I mean, address the problem. So when we come to terms with that, why not? We invite him to give us in-camera uh, testimony. There were earlier objections by lawyers for Alex Mensah, which were overruled. Their concern was about reported judicial comments by members of the committee, Peter Tobu and James Aga. Mr. Atachia said the committee will offer them the opportunity to adduce evidence. We will not stop them from tendering evidence which should aid what we are doing. Guess what? Even the members of the committee are not enemies of the witnesses at all or the people involved. And therefore, if you start doing what they call evidence gagging, then you are biased ab initio. That is why I said anything of consequence that they will need to aid what they are doing, they should give it to them freely. And they are about to do that. In the same token, if there's anything which is a school patriot of them and they have, 
The community should look at it. And if there is plain bias about certain things, I've said one thing which is very important. I would not be the person trying to get biased members of the committee to mess them up. So I don't have the lenses of bias. But if they believe that the committee is not properly constituted, then it's above me. Because I'm not the one who considers the committee as a speaker. The committee has adjourned sitting to Friday to continue probing COP Alex Mensa and Superintendent George Asari. Meanwhile, the third officer, Superintendent Eric Emmanuel Jebi, who has denied dealing now, with Bugri Nabu, has been discharged. From Parliament House, Samuel Mbura, Joy News. Asari. Do you